What's up, everybody? The CEO, the money maker, the one and only storm taker, baby. And I'm back with another mother loving video, guys. And for today's video, we got facts about every single hero in Clash of Clans, guys. So without further ado, grab some popcorn. Guys, I do also do a Brawl Stars tournament every Friday at 5 p.m. EST, where I do give a lucky winner uh the goal pass, the brawl pass plus, guys. So be sure to drop in that tournament every Friday at 5 p.m. EST. We got some W's in the chat. Appreciate you too. Let's let's go. Oh, activates Brock's ability. I feel like that's an early user that Ooh, live on YouTube. But without further ado, I digress. Let's jump on into the list and let's start off with the Barbarian King. The Barbarian King. Every attack the Barbarian King makes on a building or a unit creates a tiny explosion. The Barbarian King lives in the town hall, according to a tweet made by Supercell. When the Barbarian King falls in battle, an explosion occurs and a bright beam of light is sent up into the sky. Temporary E is then seen standing dazed with stars uh, flying over his head for the rem remainder of the battle. Next up on the list, we have the Archer Queen. Uh, the maximum level Electro Dragon and a maximum level Rage spell can one shot an Archer Queen from the level 1. 278 i didn't know this Some, sometimes the archer queen attacks walls but then may seemingly retarget another wall this is most often caused by her retargeting to different targets guys or is there some secret behind this that supercell hasn't made us know about the archer queen and walls <laughs> According to a Reddit poll, 50% of players say the Archer Queen is the best hero in Clash of Clans. Let's go on to the next hero, which is the Grand Warden. Grand Warden used to have a book of everything, but on the update of June 20, 2019, his book cover was changed to a gem instead. Psst, come here, buddy. If you want more videos like this one, make sure you subscribe and turn that bell. The Grand Warden is also one of the four troops partially associated with the wizard, including the Super Wizard, Ice Wizard, and the Party Wizard. The Grand Warden of the version before the update of June 2019 bore a great resemblance to the late TV host Lee Young. The Royal Champion was the first hero unit to be originally designed in 3D, guys. She the fewest skins of any hero in the home village. According to the making of the heroes, the royal champion was originally going to be a Valkyrie queen. Her design was also inspired by this person right here. I don't want to butcher the name. Princess and a Wakanda warrior. I know you guys didn't thought about this one. But on to the battle machine. This There used to be a visual glitch where the battle machine's ability animation indefinitely causing the hammer to repeatedly struck by lightning if the battle was ended while the ability was being targeted the hammer he wields could be a reference of tours hammer uh, in the description of the battle machine it says it broke attempting to hoist the realm's biggest hammer additionally it is also has an electric ability Unlike the other heroes, a book of building can be used on the battle machine, though only whilst it's being rebuilt. And the best hero on the list that we all love, the Battlecopter. The Battlecopter's first sentence in its description is a reference to the famous line in the first Predator movie. Check it out. The Battlecopter, the ba the Battlecopter before the Builder Base 2.0 update uses the dragon riders graphics as a placeholder and the final random fact guys the battle copter is the only hero which always flies not counting the grand warden who can be set to ground guys i know these were all useless facts comment down below if i taught you something guys and comment a heart let me know you watch all the videos guys i'm out of here thank you for coming in with the ceo I did be mobbing, bitch, we came up from the bottom Can't even say the trenches I guess we had it good until they knocked out of the